next uh, we are discussing about economic terms in that today we are discussing about average propensity to consume what is the formula of average propensity to consume average propensity to consume is equal to consumption by income was this answer helpful <coughs> what is apc and mpc apc is equal to average propensity to consume is the ratio between total consumption and total, total income uh, marginal propensity to consume mpc is the ratio between additional consumption and additional income indicates consumption per unit of total income and the next point is what is uh, average and marginal propensity to consume the ratio of total consumption to total income is uh, is known as uh, average propensity to consume an increase in consumption caused by an addition to income divided by the increase in income in income is known as the marginal propensity to consume what is uh, apc how it is calculated average propensity to consume is calculated by dividing the entries consumption by the entries uh, total income it is a ratio between what it is uh, spent and uh, what it is earned and next point is what are uh, proper properties of apc characteristics of apc since autonomous consumption is in positive C A greater than zero. That means the ratio of A P C falls with the with increase in disposable income because with increase in income the proportion of consumption ex expenditures is decreasing as it creates a smaller part of income. Income also rises faster than consumption. And the next point is what is which is greater than greater A P C or M P C? Uh, between A P C or and M P C, the value of A P C is the greater than one. only when consumption expenditure becomes greater than income remember value of mpc can't be greater than 1 because increase in consumption can't be more than increasing uh, can't the can't be more than corresponding increase in income and next point is uh, why mpc is always less than apc it is a standard keynesian model the mpc is less than the average propensity to consume because in the short run some consumption doesn't change with income and the next point is uh, what is the relationship between apc and aps as the income is either consumed or saved the sum of uh, apc and aps is consumed is supposed to be equal to 1 thus the higher the apc the lower will be the aps and vice versa how do you calculate apc percentages percentages imagine your uh, annual disposal income is 150000 dollars and your total consumption is 84000 dollars it dollars to calculate apc you will need to dissolve, divide divide 84000 by 150000 which equals 0.56 and therefore you consume around 56% of your income and next point is what is the value of apc at break even point that is equivalent to apc is equal to 1 apc refers to the ratio of consumption expenditure to the corresponding level to consume a break even point consumption is equal to national income so apc is equal to 1 and how do you calculate aps score you can calculate your own aps score by adding the points of your six best subjects in high school the percentage you you received for the subject determines your points the total number of points you receive is u aps the point system works as follows 80% minus 100% is equivalent to 7 points this is the information regarding average propensity to consume this is most important to the academic terms especially those who are in the economics subject and not only that the organizations and companies also Uh, should think about all these things these term terms will be mostly useful to all wishing you all the best